you guys. That's a good question. Right now, we're going to head into senior seminar, and this probably going to end up being something like a teachable moment right now, because we done had like four <laughs> off-camera conversations <laughs> about it. So I'm going to kick off our first current event. <laughs> well, I'm not going to call that a current event. That was sad. I'm going to call it uh, pop culture news this week. Um, Today in pop culture. Kyrie Irving's new uh, boo. Is she a new boo? I don't know. I don't know this this, this woman. Uh, <laughs> what is her name? Kaylani. Oh. That's that's what I believe it's pronounced. Kaylani? But at Miss <laughs> <laughs> Ishari on the break was making fun of me like Karuchi. Kamikaze. Kamikaze. Kwanzaa. Kwanzaa. <laughs> Yes. All the weird K noises, yeah. Like kangaroo. <laughs> Kaleidoscope. Yep. <laughs> autos. Autos. That's who she is. But it's okay. They both KKs together. Mm-hmm. All they needed was a Oh, that oh, ain't funny. Man. Uh-huh. All they needed was a baby. They would have been the KKK. Ah. Dun 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 dun. Anyways, maybe that's a sign and a half they need to be together. Anyway. <laughs> she decided that she was gonna go with her ex-boyfriend who is, I believe, a producer. I don't have the actual article up anymore. Party Next on Door. Day. Party Next Door. He's an uh, artist on Drake's label imprint. Okay. I thought his label was O-V- O-V-A. O-V-O? That's a, that's a label, but Party Next Door is at... See, I don't understand why people go by these phrases now for a name. Party Next Door. The Weekend. The Weekend. Right. Um... It's, it's the trend. I don't <laughs> understand, but Just party like next door you. is one person. It's one person. Yes. Person. Okay. Yes. I don't. I don't. I don't understand. I'm up to date now. Why they go by these phrases now? Maybe if he gets sued, he he <laughs> gonna split the whatever with somebody else. Maybe that I don't should exist. be party over here. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yes. I'll, if you party over here, can I be make my checks clear? <laughs> right. That's that's why I, my checks I just clear. want them all to clear. Mm-hmm. Um. So the story is that they were dating and they were actually pretty intense on social media, pronouncing their love to one another. And lo and behold, we see this Instagram picture of him in the bed with who? Party, party next of, door. Party, party next, next door. I do need to use names. Right? Okay. Detail. Party next door. Uh, is this allegedly or no? no it's this actually, happened. No, it's this happened. Okay. He is ignorant because you know when something happened, they'll usually put it up and snatch it down and let the co- no. He he, he left it there. What, he knew what he was doing. Wow. It's still there. It's, I wonder did she allow herself to get caught up and told on or. Mm. I don't know. It's just so disrespectful. It's very disrespectful. It's just like, disrespectful. super disrespectful. So she got caught in the bed, and he actually takes an Instagram photo of her hand, and she has very distinctive tattoos, and the biggest one is the woke, and uh, she's woke in the bed with him, and she's supposed to be out with Kyrie, so I don't know. I hope this doesn't mess up the playoff chances. That's what I'm saying. You, you <laughs> That's all up, I care about. You messing up the money, girl. Did the warrior send her in? Probably. What happened? Somebody, somebody Who knows did what this. conspiracies be happening? And since we bringing up conspiracies, what y'all feel about LeBron playing with us with or following the Cavs on Twitter? What? I I don't think he's any, just been yeah. making slow social media moves like he' about to be up out of here. And hence my point about feeling jilted at the altar. And not taking you back because you ain't going to do it to me no more. I said it. I said it. I was like, hey, I I wouldn't all yell Queen James. I mean, I'm (laughs) glad he back, but I I got my side out on him. What did I say? I think I, I don't know if I said it to myself or I said it when I was in here by myself. But I was like, look. If you're going to make that move, just keep making movies here. Like, I want you to spend... Can you make, like, five more movies than you would have made here? Because you can go. We need the money to stay. The economics of this city. <laughs> Wait, 
You can go wherever you, you want to go. go. Keep but the you, economic crisis. You going to keep these investments moving up in this I city don't, I don't think he's going anywhere. I don't. I just think he's getting in his mode, and I think he's just flexing his muscle because he is the king. That's my guy, actually. You know, he I is the king. Know I and, like him like that. You know, um, he's got a new reality show, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Okay. So. Actually, it premieres, or it already premiered at the Cleveland International Film Oh, really? Yes. Okay. I think it was either this weekend past or this weekend coming up. I just don't want him to jilt me at the altar after we we've gotten to the altar again. That's well, all. Well, I didn't take him to the altar. I'm like, I, I was at the altar with I him. I see you, dude. But you can leave me at the altar. Them alimony checks just <laughs> gotta be fat, though. I'm mean, not want all the checks. <laughs> but if you at the altar, how you getting alimony though? We are discussing, okay? Look, <laughs> the license is already in place. In place. <laughs> this is my long term contract deal. I was look, I took the ring, so you owe me some money. I'm sorry, we ain't had to cross the threshold. So mm. what? So. I know we got off a t- on a tangent, but so now, what is your question about Kalahari Kazamazi, Ke- Kelani Kelani? My, Kelani. This is good. My question in cheat Khaleesi. Shaw <laughs> <laughs> is so silly right now. My question in general, when it comes to cheating, are you more ex- upset about what that does to your ego? your self-esteem because you felt like you were able to sustain a certain amount of attention from this person by yourself and now you've been proven that that isn't the case Dethroned. or are you significantly more upset about the financial uh, implications with cheating he's taking that money spending it somewhere else where it could be you you split bills with him and he's spent, and spending money that could go towards those bills that you're splitting on another person so in essence you're spending money on that person they're out kicking it with your money or if you take care of that person in an entire capacity they out kicking it in your whip they chilling at your house when you ain't there which part of that are you more upset about or are you not necessarily upset about either separately but as a whole? Huh. Well, I think you have to take in consideration whatever the negotiation is up front before you before you um come to this point. If some cheating occur, for me, if some cheating occur it's not gonna be about my self esteem. I I'm I'm um pretty sure and stable in my self-esteem so i would have to agree with you that i'm gonna be pissed off because now we got to do all this separating the property and money (laughs) and you know paperwork and Mm -hmm. stuff like that if i am financially invested in something with you whether married or not married you know you're going to get into situations where you do things together and there's a a financial component to it and then if you're out there cheating i'm not going to necessarily say oh you're taking money and you know, going and playing with, and I'm going to be more pissed off that I got to separate all this stuff, you know. So Mm -hmm. I'm going to be pissed off about the money Mm -hmm. in that respect. Mm -hmm. I think I'd be pissed off more about the disrespect. More so, it ain't going to be the self-esteem. It's not going to be the money because I'm just going to, I'm going to do what I do and keep making my own money or whatever. I think it's, it's just disrespectful. To, to do that to somebody if you if you feel that you need to do it then you need to end the relationship mm-hmm. that's my negotiation when I'm with somebody up front yes. if you feel that you need to cheat just end it with me and, and go about your business because it's not a deal cheating is not a deal breaker for everybody no it's not I actually want to no I ain't no point of asking either one of y'all because first of all even <laughs> if you did consider it at one point I don't think you would consider say it publicly what? But the sister wives conversation oh. is kind of circling around. Hell to the no. Hell to the Who's no. The so, oh my God, this is about to be the foolishest ending of the show, but go for it. Okay, so I'm watching an article. I'm watching an article. That, that ain't how that happened. I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was watching a video and there was a young woman who was actually native to... Africa, but she spent some time in America and then moved back to raise her family. And she was encouraging women to reconsider the idea of sister wives, because mm-hmm. right now the uh, the community of black people as a whole that that 
not just African Americans or Africans themselves, but the black community as a whole, uh, the power dynamic in families is off because we have so many single family homes. Right. And the way to rectify that, she felt like, was going back to the times of sister wives. So she was explaining how if one, if if you raise a child in a community where each mother and how significantly, how much information we actually learn from our mother if we had six different mothers who were capable of teaching us and we grew up with those lessons as a part of life you would grow up with super children almost so if there's a mom who's significantly good at cooking and she teaches all the kids how to be vegans and things of that nature then okay that's that's great all of the kids within that within that that clan that clan Mm -hmm. have that skill now she's great for that. There's the mother who's the nurturer. So she's taking care of, the, of the, all the kids and teaching them. She's allowing that to where some of the other women might not necessarily have education. So she's fulfilling that need. Um, there's another family mem- uh, sister wife who's a businesswoman. She's teaching kids how to go out and be entrepreneurs. So in essence, through that dynamic, we could reestablish the black community if... Women were able to look at their uh, sisters as a community opposed as competition. She felt like it also reduces cheating because there's not a necessity. They pick the next wife in the in the circle. As <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just going to ask the question for clarification purposes. I understand the premise of that is it takes a village to raise a child. I get that part. But is the sister wives somebody who's dating the same one guy? Yes, mm-hmm. they all no. say that. No. no. So, because I was thinking the way you you explained it, it seemed like, you know, it's a village of mothers who, you know, gather well, all the Well, that's how the they market it. No, nah, that ain't the same. That's, this ain't like that. No. You know that's <laughs> our roots, though. It is, but if it's, I guess, maybe because in that, because it's a polymorphous, or, you know, mm-hmm. culture where that, you know, a man can have polymorphous. Than, yes. Poly- oh my God. Polygamous. Polyg- oh. Polymorphous polygamous. Some. I but, have no idea. Oh, polygamy. Oh, polygamy. Okay. Polymorphous is the um the thought, plural. Yes. Yeah, okay. Thought, but God, she she makes you get your dictionary. She does. Let me see. Let me see. Cause I may have said it wrong. Okay. But know. we know polygamy. Yes. Yeah. But, I was about to say polyamorous, but that's when you can use both hands. No, that's ambidextrous. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Okay, so polyamorous is the word I'm thinking about when it's a woman who actually has multiple men, and she was encouraging that as well. So okay. let's say it's a man who has too many daughters. Mm-hmm. They they send one of the daughters or one of the other wives to be with a husband who lacks the wife of that similar capability. So it would be some situations where some women would actually have multiple husbands, too. <sighs> but see, you know that Mm-mm. it would never go that way, where women can have multiple husbands. It's always that double they gonna, standard. Yeah, they're going to fight. It's always that because it's like the man can have multiple wives, but the wife can't have multiple husbands. That's just ain't, that's out of the question. I can't use my favorite word. Mm. I just, I feel like it could work, but the only reason I, first of all, it does work. It, it just works people, discreetly yeah. within, the, within the United States right now because multiple know, of yeah, y'all. I'm not, I don't even know if it's discreetly because if you go to states like Utah. If you watch Love and Hip Hop. That, I mean, you in Utah, mm-hmm. that's that's a norm. Yeah. That's even a in, norm. Even in religious communities. Like, yeah. Looking at Mormons. I want to say the Mormons. Yeah, they have multiple, they have that sister wives things going on. Let's talk about a community that ain't crazy though. Like, because you ain't going to never get nobody to back up behind you with using those names. I'm sorry. Every time I see one in the news, they just come out looking super, never been to school. <laughs> Who? Don't make me say it. Oh, okay. We're not supposed to be saying it. Right. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Got it. But, I, no, it can't work. Not, mm-mm. I don't think so. I mean, co-parenting. She said, mm-mm, no. I guess I can get co-parenting where you have a man who was married, divorced that, had kids with that person, got married again, have kids with that person, and they, you know, 
created blended family. They have yeah, yeah. they're blended. I get that part mm-hmm. of blended family because you know they're all brothers and sisters. The mothers have the to be bunch. on the same accord or whatever. But nah, not no sister wives. Yeah, it's just it, yeah, it's, it's just too yeah, yeah. Like, uh, it's, it's too much. Like, <laughs> they are comfortable. It's like it's just too much to deal with. Too yeah, much. it's they, just too much. I don't even like women like that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I mean Diddy. I, you know, I, you know, maybe I'm talking out of turn, but I think Diddy does it well. But he does the blended family well. He ain't jumping. Yeah, but, think, but he doing my, all I of the women too. With well, that too. But well, I don't know if he doing them all at the same time. He but he, the but there's certain. More. But they're certainly in in a clan. I mean, he certainly keeps everybody close. So everybody he, he got a rotation going. Something. Something. <laughs> he got him on. He got the re up. He got the. The well, in that rotation, I'm not even use that word. I'm I'm pretty sure I was about to use it wrong, but in that structure of family, you have you won't run into issues because I think women as a whole think it's gonna be power issues. No, because that was not the way that those relationships were set up. The first wife knew she was the first wife. The last wife knew she was the last last wife, and they acted accordingly. So, is that? But it's Game of Thrones in there. It really is within that structure. Even though the first wife knows she's the the main squeeze, and the last wife knows she's the Philly. Believe the Philly Khaleesi. Is coming for the main squeeze. She coming to take the spot. She coming to try to get more of the percentage of the time from the man or whatever. So I don't know. I think and even they got the they have the show. What is it called? Big Love or mm-hmm. something like that. They be fighting. They be fighting and you know one of the wives of one of them shows I watch. You know you catch when you channel flipping. You catch it, and one of them decided they wanted to leave, and all of them got to, together and they talked about it, and <laughs> then it was decided that they would divorce, and they had to decide what was going to happen with the kids, if the kids were going to stay with the family, if she was going to leave with the kids, and all of that. But she was not; she didn't want to be part of the clan anymore, and she so did. it was a big discussion. Yeah, it's like, and and plus she had she felt like she got booted anyway, and so that's why she wanted to leave. It's just too much. It's mm. it's just yeah, it's a, lot. it's a lot. Let's do okay, FYI, FYI, or we channel. Can we? Y'all are big on social experiments right now because I feel like that's all y'all reality shows. So let's pop out that one and let's see what happens. What within? Uh, like let's just match like they did married at first sight. Let's yeah. just married as a group at first sight. Oh my gosh! You can't do married as and I mean, do both. That would be housewives. Hollywood husband. That would be the show. Love and hip hop. That would be the show. I mean, mean that, all in one. It would be all there, of them you, all in one. You Let's said they do that y'all. with Peter. Peter does that. He flips from one girl to the other girl. <laughs> he got four kids with this one, two kids, one and a half kids with that one. He does I, that. I don't know when we. I don't know when we started doing all of that. I don't know. Like that. It's a word. I don't know I when we started use. doing all of that. Like that. I don't they, know what happened. What happened? I just can't with that whole situation. It's like I, I can't even use the words that I want to say. Like, so. oh, she's just sitting on a lot of juicy ones. Just uh, uh, <laughs> 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 you know what? Dang, it's on the list. All right, fine. But yeah, I feel it. Well, before we just start idly chit chatting any further. <laughs> that was basically the show, you guys. I hope you ins- enjoyed it, and I'm sure, if nothing else, you found a few phony, mo- funny moments for yourself. We don't do phony moments, no Mr. Phony, Clark. Funny moments, f- pronunciate funny moments for yourself, and I hope that this week you were able to find a lesson. And if you didn't, you found the question that me maybe you need to ask yourself and address it with yourself, and that can be a lesson for later. Yes. All right, see you next week where I'm in the studio with... Who knows? We'll see. All right, have a good night. Bye. Bye.